In this video, we're going to take a look at the chain option in Rhino Gold. Uh, as you can see, we have an element already set up over here. And we have a curve over here in the shape of the necklace, the chain necklace we want to create. Uh, we are going to go over to the chain option. And we'll go ahead and click on that. And now it's asking for two things, the element and the rail. So we'll go ahead and click each one. So the element, enter, and then the rail. And as you can see, it already has some here, but it hasn't shown us any preview. Notice that everything is at zero here. We haven't selected any options. So uh, I'm going to go over here, maybe put a 40 here. And as we can see, we get uh, some links over here. I'm going to zoom into an area here so we can see what's going on better. So let me do a drag uh, window selection here for zooming. Here we go. We can see the little links being placed on there, the elements being oriented. So uh, we can see that we need more than that. Let's try maybe 110. Probably closer to what we need. And it's, it's close enough. Notice that right there, it loops our chain since our element has already been prepared. But if we needed to, notice that we have even uh, and uh, uneven uh, elements. Basically, this is allowing us to, to, to rotate these things uh, along the line so that we can create the chain. You know, So for example, the uneven links, maybe I can rotate them. Notice how they change. Let's go with maybe like a 30 over here. Now notice that with these three options here, you get complete control of the orientation of, e of the links. We have uneven and even links. So we can go ahead and make them rotate. Notice that we can change the way they are over here. And we can also change their orientation around instead of along along the axis of the of the rail we can make them rotate along their circumference so we can go over here and change this and we can slightly begin to change now obviously you need to play with all these numbers to get it to link correctly but as you can see you have complete control on how you orient these links on your chain you know, uh, I'm going to back up a little bit here to the normal settings. There we go. Now I got my regular setup chain over here without making any changes here. I'm going to click OK. And once we have our chain, we can probably get rid of this line. And we can pick our chain over here. We can open up our browser and maybe make it a nice, you know, 18 carat maybe.